Hi everyone and welcome to Positively Kimmy. I am Kimmy. If you are new here, welcome. This is a safe space. And if you're one of my return subscribers and my besties. Hi guys, how are you? I hope you're all having an amazing day. Welcome to What's Up Wednesday. Is it a thumbs up week or a thumbs down week? Now, obviously, if you saw the thumbnail, you will know for me it has been a thumbs down week. But the reason is, is weird. It's a different reason. It's not for anything going on in my life, sort of. I, I, I know I don't make sense. But anyway, uh, I just wanted to jump on because I wasn't able to post a What's Up Wednesday last week because we had some family issues going on and it's not my story to tell, so therefore I will not do that. And I don't like to be down on this channel. This is about positivity and love and light and just being the best version of yourself every day. But today I've had, well, the last two days, uh, if you live in the Northeast, God bless you, <laughs> because the weather has been ridiculous. Uh, some parts have gotten hit with two to three feet of snow and other places like where I live in New York, um, the part of New York I live in is downstate, so it's Long Island. And we only got rain, but we got massive amounts of rain. There was a power outage last night. Um, one of the train tracks, the power line went down, so they had to reroute all the trains that were going that way. And um, it was crazy. It was crazy. But because the weather has been so bad, my body is in so much pain. <laughs> and I'm trying to smile through it, and I'm trying to be the best version of myself that I can be while I feel like this. So if this is too negative for you, I understand completely. Um, you can skip this video. I, I don't know what to say, but I will tell you, I got to babysit my grandson uh, one day last week. I called up his parents. Now we have not seen him since the third, no, the first no, December 31st. I'll get it right in a minute. We haven't seen him since December 31st when we had our, our Christmas party outside, opening Christmas gifts all over the lawn, like, you know, a bunch of banshees. Um, but it was so much fun and it was just really wonderful. So um, that's the last time I saw him. So the other day I called up and I said, can I please come play with him? And they're like, well, right now we're going to eat dinner and whatever. And I got to go up for about an hour and he was a monster. Now, not a monster, not an ER, but a monster. A monster is a cute little thing <laughs> that you love with all your heart. And um, when you love him so much and he's being bad, he's a monster. And we play a kissing uh, game. It's called the kissing game. And there are no such thing as monsters in my world. But there is a kissing monster. And that would be Mima. And I go on my hands and knees. Which I shouldn't be doing either. I go on my hands and knees. And I will crawl around the floor chasing after him. And then get him down and give him lots of belly kisses and things. And we have a ball. And then the next night they called me back up. And my ex-husband and they said, can you guys babysit for a couple hours? We want to go to the gym. And we were like absolutely and you don't even have to ask me twice when it comes to my grandson so I got to see him twice uh last week um which was completely awesome and you guys know how much I adore him I hope it comes through on video but one of the games he likes to play is he will push me back and um they have hardwood floors so he'll push me back on the floor and then take my hand and uh, help me up which I have to use the non-existent stomach muscles that I have in order to do that. Um, and it's very difficult for me. And I'm sure that's part of what I'm dealing with today. Because for the last two days, ever since the weather has changed, and I know this happens to a lot of people, but between that and the last two days where the weather has changed, I have been in excruciating, excruciating pain. And it is absolutely horrible. I was thinking of going to the hospital today just to get uh, a shot of something. I don't even know what to ask for. My right, it's all on my right side. So the right side of my neck, there's a spot like, I can't even do that right here. I have CRPS, which is complex regional pain syndrome in my right arm and it hurts to touch. It hurts to have this top on. Um, the pain is going all the way down my back, down to my sciatic, down to my right leg, down to my toes. I'm getting spasms in them. 
and it is so incredibly painful. Now, yes, I take medicine, medication for this, and it usually keeps it at bay, but last month when I went to refill my prescription, the manufacturer, like they've been doing with a lot of other medications, didn't have my prescription in stock and it was gonna be a week. And instead of taking a week supply of a different medication, I was like, oh, I'm sure I could get through it. What I'm on is very, very strong because I do have a lot of chronic pain and I have a lot of hardware in my body and I never realized how much that medicine was helping until I don't have it and I'm taking something that is kind of like a diluted version of my medication and it is just the most painful thing and even my stomach is bothering me and you guys know that hasn't bothered me since April is the last time my stomach bothered me but I'm getting all these things and it's just really really terrible for me right now so I'm in a lot of pain and I still might go up to the hospital I just don't know what to tell them like my because I, I have also degenerative bone disease and I have avascular necrosis which means my bones are very soft and brittle and they're dying from the inside so I have to have a lot of surgeries um, which I'm still going to have to have more and I'm okay with that like I'm okay doing what I need to do what I'm not okay with is feeling this after not feeling pain like this in such a long time so I hope that I'm not being too down on you guys and you know I want you to know I'm still having a really good week I'm having a lot of positive things happen um, I've gotten a lot more subscribers on YouTube and bless you all I thank you so very much for joining me and subscribing and becoming one of my besties because I would like to see this channel grow and I'm wearing my shirt that I got from Sheen that says you are enough I went to Walmart today oh I forgot to tell you guys I went to Walmart today to go shopping and we go quite a few towns over to go to Walmart it's about a half an hour drive and I got hit on yes I did I was oh my god over the moon because I can't remember the last time a man walked up to me and was like oh my gosh he this is what he said to me he comes up to me and he's like ma'am he's like can I speak to you for a minute now he was like in his 30s I would say early 30s very handsome very well put together very well spoken and I was like sure I was like what can I do for you and he's like you know, you come to Walmart and you never expect to see someone so beautiful just walking around. And he's like, you are the most gorgeous thing I have seen in my life. He's like, and you're here at Walmart. He's like, may I ask if you are in a relationship or married? Now, I am not in a relationship, but I did say I was in a relationship because I'm just not interested in dating right now. It's not where my head is at. It's not where my heart is at. And uh, I was like, uh, yes, I am involved in a relationship, but thank you so very much. That was the sweetest, kindest thing you could have said, and it made my day. So he's just looking at me. He's like, can I say one other thing without sounding disrespectful? And I was like, absolutely. You know, we were having a nice conversation. He's like, you have curves in all the right places. He's like... I know you have a man, he's like, because nobody would pass the opportunity to be with you up. And I was like, oh my goodness, it made me feel so good. So not only did I get groceries at Walmart, but I got hit on and I got a really nice compliment, which just made my day. Because yesterday I was having a fat day. You know, the kind where you put something on and just nothing's fitting right. And you're sitting there and you're like, oh my goodness, this is too small. Um, something went into the dryer and it shouldn't have. And I was like, this is too small. I just feel like a sausage stuffed in my clothes. <laughs> and it was just, you know, a bad day yesterday. And I wasn't feeling good on top of it with all the pain that I'm having right now. But I just wanted to jump on and tell you guys that everything is good. Um, I don't have a lot of stories to tell you this week, but I wanted to tell you about me getting hit on because I, he was the cutest little thing. And... If my head was in a different place and it was another time, that would have been a possibility. But because I am very single and um, it was just very sweet and made me feel good about myself after having the day I had yesterday. I still might go to the hospital uh, tomorrow if I can make it through tonight because the pain is just really, really bad. 
Um, and if I do, I'll give you guys an update and let you know. If not, I will speak to you all on Friday. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Um, I'm sorry, this is not my usual type of video. Uh, but in the meantime, be happy, be healthy, be blessed, and most of all, be positively you because there's no one else quite like you, and that makes me so incredibly happy. Mm -hmm. You guys rock.